Welcome to Anson Griffith's Occasion Series in MATLAB Tutorials. Today uh, we're just looking at brain tumour detection and classification. And just to say, none of this is my intellectual property. Uh, I took the code here from the MATLAB file exchange. You can see there 55107. And the man who, who wrote this also emphasises here that he took the code from this paper here. So I just want to be clear, none of this is mine. And we just want to run it and explain what's going on. So I made out uh, from their paper. Oh, sorry. If you, you download the code, uh, you'll get the paper that the lads cite. Okay, so you can read that uh, at your own uh, ease. And I cut and paste two things from that. So this is the workflow here. MRI scans. They ran this discrete wave of transformation. You got loads of features. Uh, that would be there'd be too many features to run efficiently. So what they did then was they did principal component analysis to reduce the number of features and then select only the most important ones. They then trained it. They then ran uh, a different number of kernels. Uh, the one that they used was the kernel support vector machine. They put in the new MRI and they got out whether it was a normal or abnormal uh, image. I also cut and pasted from the paper uh, the uh, classification accuracy there, so you, I can let you read that at your own ease as well. So I've downloaded the code. You can see here, by the way, there's the code over here in the current folder. There's the normal features. You can you could load that and look at it at that mat with the training set. Uh, there's a GUI as well, and then there's some pictures here who are benign or malignant. So it's just to run it and show you how it works. So here we go. Okay, uh, we load. An image from their simple data set. I think they got it from Harvard. Uh, just say that one's as good as any. Uh, we segment the image. It'll tell you now whether it's a tumor or not, and we'd also get the statistical uh, data over here on the right hand side. So we just have to wait a second. So it's a malignant tumor, unfortunately. Click OK. Now now we're going to get the functions down here, uh, the RBF, the radial basis. This takes a little bit of time. So you could do all four together, but I think it's better by just doing one at a time. So, in 100 iterations. Okay. Hope that helps a little. Apologies if you're looking for a tutorial in, in what principal con component analysis was or discrete wavelet transform this discrete wavelet transformation is. Apologies for that. I just decided I'd run it and show you and see what you could do. Okay, hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.